There are days where we as programmers feel like we can take over the world and solve any coding problem and build the best and complex program out there. But there are days that are grimmer. We feel like we can't even write a simple hello world program. And this happens to all of us. The journey of a programmer has ups and downs. No matter what, we will keep on going. And in today's video, I want to offer you a couple of tips that will help you write better code and simply get better at coding. I know you may hear this all the time, but practice makes perfect. You can't deny that. If you think you'll wake up one day and become a master programmer and be able to write code in any language without practicing, unfortunately, this is not reality. You have to practice your skills and daily try to find projects and exercises related to the language you are working on and solve them. Maybe do each day one to two lead code problems or find exercises online and solve them or build a project or application you always wanted to do. Consistent practice is key to improvement. Dedicate an hour or two or even more to practice your coding skills. Watching tutorials to learn a new language or a new concept is definitely beneficial, but thinking that tutorials on YouTube will get you to land your dream software engineer job or data science job isn't going to happen. Every tutorial you find online, whether on YouTube or courses you bought, they all have the same purpose, which is to teach you the fundamentals. If you're a beginner programmer who never wrote code and decided to start learning, for example, Python, I'm not telling you not to visit a YouTube tutorial. Actually, even skilled programmers, when they want to learn a new language, they will start from scratch because every language has its own syntax and rules. But the thing is, what are you going to do after these tutorials? Are you going to search for another one or apply what you learn? Definitely go apply what you learn, solve exercises and problems. Of course, don't just solve problems that are easy on you, like finding the sum of two numbers. Go and challenge yourself to solve harder problems. This tip is a follow-up of the previous tip. Sometimes you learn by doing, by working on a project or on a complex lead code exercise, for example. Instead of doing what you know, do what you don't know, because this will allow you to learn new concepts and challenge yourself. If you know how to build a login page in HTML and CSS, don't just do it over again with different styling and layout. You can apply some JavaScript on it, accept user input and maybe store it in a database, for example. If you don't know JavaScript, that's great. This will oblige you to go out there and search for the answer and learn something new to be able to apply it in this project. The key takeaway here is set a goal to build a project, list what you need to know and learn to build this project. Once you've done that, start your project and use what you know and learn what you don't know. The way of writing code can affect your coding performance. Let's look at this Python program. Is it readable or understandable? Definitely not. How about this one? It has the same purpose of the first image, but with better readability. Now you can understand that we were trying to find the even numbers from a sequence. With unclean and unreadable code, it demotivates you or your colleagues to read the code and understand it. Also, be aware of creating variables or functions by naming them, for example, A or B or X. Only use those names when you are explaining to someone a concept. But when working on a project, Make sure that the name of your variables or functions are descriptive and meaningful. This can help your team to understand and help you also to understand what this variable store or what this function does. I know writing comments may be as boring or waste of time, but it can really improve your coding productivity. Imagine today you finish building an application. You come back in two weeks and look at your code and ask yourself, what the hell did I wrote? Or what does this variable do? Or what does this function do? This is why comment every line of code, or if not all the lines, anything you feel that might be complex or hard to remember, then write a comment. Actually, when you start working with teams, you'll be writing more comments than code because your teammates have to understand what you wrote and with comments, it will be easier on them. I have a question for you. How do you face a coding problem? Make sure to comment your answer. This tip states that you need to break down any problem into smaller parts and build each part and then combine them to solve this complex problem. If you are given to find if a number is even or odd, you don't really need to plan your approach. It is simple. But what if you are building the next chat GPT? Will you be able to do it right away? Or you need to break this complex problem into smaller parts? The thing is, turning everything into smaller, more manageable parts help you understand the problem and it will make it easier for you to find a solution. To break down a problem, write on a sheet of paper how do you want to solve this problem. List your ideas, maybe write a pseudo code, or write down step-by-step -step instructions for you to follow to be able to solve this problem. Debugging your code is the process of finding and removing bugs in your code. What you can do is leverage this concept of debugging to improve yourself at coding. 
So when you encounter an unexpected behavior from your code, instead of copying and pasting your code into ChatGPT or any language model to find the bug, you can go ahead and debug your code by scrolling line by line and writing down the flow of your code to discover how this code is working. Maybe you did a typo or didn't increment a certain variable, there are different types of errors you may encounter. But the way you handle them is what really helps you develop this problem solving skill that every developer should have to write better code. Reading other developers code is quite important because it introduces you to how other developers think and write code. This opportunity of reading and understanding others code allows you to get better as a developer because you are going through each line of code and thinking what this program does and how it works. So it looks like debugging. The difference is you're not finding bugs, you're solving the program and discovering how it works. This enhances your problem solving skills and introduces you to different ways of writing code. Try to make it a habit. Each time you see someone else's code, go over it and try to understand it. Read it carefully line by line and maybe write down on a sheet of paper the flow of this program. This could really help the way you think as a programmer. Copy pasting code from Stack Overflow or coding forums isn't going to make you better. Indeed your code is going to work, but that isn't going to make you any better. I'm not saying copy pasting is bad, we all have done it, but what we do after it is important. The moment you copy and paste code is the right time for you to go over it and understand what this code does. Don't just say, okay my project works so I'm done. You have to take a couple of minutes to understand what this code does. And we go back to the previous step which is read others code. This is an opportunity for you to get better at coding and improve the way you think as a programmer so don't miss this opportunity. The last step is stay consistent. Coding is a great and in-demand skill in this world. It might be hard and you might have some days where you feel like you are a complete noob but you have to know that the journey of a developer has ups and downs and it is important to keep going and learn from our mistake. And this is the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If any of you have some tips to share with us, please include them in the comment section. Other than that, I thank you for watching this video and I invite you to click on one of these end screens that will appear right now and I hope to see you in one of these videos.